Hi, my name is James Kaufman, and I'm a professor of educational psychology at the University of Connecticut in the NEAG School of Education. What I'd like to talk a little bit about is college admissions and how creativity might help improve fairness in the process. Right now, the number one thing that colleges use for admissions are SAT or ACT scores. At the graduate level, it's the GREs. All of these tests show certain differences by gender and by ethnicity. Men tend to receive higher scores than women on the quantitative tests, and often Caucasians and Asian Americans will receive higher scores than other groups. And the question of why is something that is highly debated, one of the more controversial areas. And one suggestion is that stereotype threat is an issue. Stereotype threat is when you are worried about confirming a negative stereotype. So for example, if you are a woman taking a math test and you are aware that there exists a stereotype that I'm in no way endorsing of women being worse at math than men, then this creates anxiety, which basically takes up room in your brain that could otherwise be spent on the task. And this, in, in fact, may actually lead to lower scores on, that, on the test. Now, there are several ways of thinking about what might make something biased. One thing would simply be, are there differences in the scores? And this is the way that often many people perceive bias. Another idea is something might be biased if it's only covering part of a larger construct. And in doing so, it is shifting the scores. And if we think of intelligence or cognitive abilities as being this, we're only measuring part of that with the GREs and the SATs. And many theories of cognitive abilities, such as Robert Sternberg, Howard Gardner, many others, include creativity as being part of intelligence. And yet right now that's not measured in really any way for college admissions. What's interesting is that creativity, a lot of the research shows, there's no difference between men and women, between any ethnicity. People tend to do the same. Everybody has the same potential on measures of creativity. In addition, there's been some studies that have shown that African Americans show particularly high creative self-efficacy. In other words, believing in their own creativity, which means that it could actually help counter stereotype threat. If creativity could be added as a supplement, not to replace, but as a supplement to the SATs and the GREs, then there is a potential to really find a great deal of potential students who could end up being tremendously successful, but would be rejected under the current rather strict GRE scores, SAT scores, GPA that is currently being used. Of course, what happen, needs to happen next is to have even better creativity tests, which hopefully will come over the next couple of decades. Mm -hmm.